Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really cool, cutting edge, and it's free. If you go to ifttt.com and make an account, no credit card will be required. You can either sign up through Facebook or you can sign up with your Google account. And once you're here, the screen will be, I'm clicking the word discover, it'll appear as this. And you can sit here, and in case you're wondering what in the world does this do, we use LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It makes apps talk to each other. And there's plenty of stuff you can do, so let me go to search. And it's got these categories at the top, or you can scroll down and look through here. I'm going to go to email. Let's see what's in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on an applet and it'll ask you to let you connect to whatever service you're using here. I'm not going to sit here and read these to you. Uh, if you don't like going to the categories, you can sit here when you go to search. I'm going to type in Fitbit. And there are the applets for Fitbit. So if you think about this one right here, if you wanted to keep up with your activity, daily activity on a Google spreadsheet, which you could easily put into Excel later, you don't want to sit there every day, 365 days a year, typing in stuff. It'll automatically just do it for you. So one of them that I've, I've created, or actually I've just clicked on, when you s click on one, you'll actually have them under My Applets. And the one I want to show you is automatically when I get a Gmail with attachments go to my Microsoft OneDrive account and create a folder and name that folder the name of the person that sent it to me and put those attachments in there so if you think about that if I was getting 80 emails a week with attachments I would have to go download them and then upload them to the correct folder so you can see how much time this is going to save me so now let's see if it works uh, let me click on it first. By default, it was off, and I just simply clicked on, and I said, yeah, this is what I want to do, and I hit turn on. And if you come right here, I didn't have to do anything. I'm just showing you what it's going to do. It's telling you that it's going to create a OneDrive folder, ifttt slash gmail slash from address. So I just hit save. So this is already turned on and ready to go, so I don't have to do it again. So here we go. I have an email that I'm creating from Art Vandelay. I'm sending it to my Gmail account. The subject is budget file. And if you notice, it has an attachment, an Excel file called budget. And before I send this, over in my Microsoft OneDrive, I'm in my files, if. IFTTT. I didn't create that, it did. There's a subfolder called Gmail and it's empty. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and send this email. So remember, it's going to my Gmail. Minimize it. I'm going to open up my Gmail just to show you that I did receive it. I don't even have to open it. You can see that it has an attachment up there on the right. So once again, if I had 75 emails for the week from different people, I would have to click on it, download the attachment, and then upload it to OneDrive. Back in my folder, IFTTT, open up my Gmail folder, and there is the attachment from Art Vandelay 27 for that email. So I didn't have to do anything to that email to get it to download and then upload to my Microsoft OneDrive. And by the way, in case you're wondering, Chris, why don't you just store stuff in your Google Drive? Because I got one terabyte of storage in my OneDrive. And by the way, I could have done this with Dropbox also. And by the way, let me open that up and make sure it says budget, and it does. So that is... IFTTT, free to sign up.
no credit card and then you can go search and use it for whatever you want to let's just jump to YouTube real quick I turn that one off but I can turn it on upload a YouTube video then post to LinkedIn so basically it saves me when I upload a YouTube video which I do all the time it'll automatically post to LinkedIn so all you have to do is come up here and search so this is very cool I'll show you one more video later where I take my text messages both received and sent and it automatically populates them in an Excel spreadsheet. Thanks.